You may not be the Whispering Shadow Strang, but you've a lot to explain. That is just what I intend to do, Mr. Raymond. I'm the foreign minister of the Federated Baltic States. The crown jewels, the Whispering Shadows, trying to get, were entrusted to me to bring to America as security for a loan. The escaped convict Slade stole them from me and hid them here in this warehouse. I suppose you can prove your identity? Why, Your Excellency, why didn't you tell us all this before, instead of allowing us to believe that you were the Whispering Shadow? Because the resulting publicity might have bankrupted my country. I heard shooting, Chief, and grabbed this man trying to make his getaway. Now maybe you'll believe that Steinbeck is the Whispering Shadow. I found these things in the receiving room just after he ran out. What about this, Steinbeck? I told you I was a special agent sent here by my country to stop the loan Strang was trying to make. I'm not the Shadow. I never saw that cape before. How do we know these things don't belong to you, Mr. Gerald? You attacked me right here and try to get the order for the jewels. Is that right, Jerome? Yes, I did. I feel that I have a right to those jewels. You have a right to the imperial jewels? What right? My right of inheritance. I'll tell you who I really am, even though it puts my life in danger. I am the only survivor of the House of Baltinoff. The jewels were confiscated from us by the New Republic. You mean you are the exiled Prince Alexander? Yes. I was in this country when the revolution occurred. Fearful for my life, I took an assumed name. I bought an interest in the storage company to help me locate the jewels which I knew were hidden in the warehouse. Has anybody seen my puzzle? Oh, there it is. I've never known you to lose your puzzle before, Sparks. No, and it won't happen it again. Mr. Jerome, both you and Steinbeck have explained your motive. But there's nothing to prove that one of you isn't the Whispering Shadow. Hey, hey, what's the idea? Don't do that, Mr. Foster. Say, Foster, what's come over you? You hold him and I'll show you. I just found this in my pocket. The Shadow's death disc. How did it get there? Never mind that now. Watch. Watch that disc. <coughs> so that's where the death ray came from. Foster, how did you figure it was this machine? This strang really put me on the right trail. I? Yes. Although you didn't suspect the right man at the time, remember you told me you and your father Here. Wait. Can I turn on the translucent ray? Mr. Jarvis! You recognize him? Yes. He's secretary to Mr. Bradley, president of the storage company. I'll put an end to his spying. Oh, Father, wait! Right. It is best not to let him know we suspect him. Follow him quickly. At that time, Miss Strang and I thought that Mr. Jerome was the Whispering Shadow.
Game's up, Jerome. You're coming to the boss's office with me. I'm on fire. 